continuing our series of books on leadership, so I want to recommend a book that may seem kind of out of character here. It's called King, Warrior, Magician, Lover by Robert Moore and Douglas Gillette. And this is actually a book about psychology, depth psychology, Jungian psychology. And uh, this is really about self-leadership. There's such a thing as self-leadership, you know, where it's not us leading others or others leading us, but us reaching into ourselves for uh, a basis of leadership and to get a sense of where we are, what our context is, and what we ought to do. And this is about King Warrior, Magician Lover, is about the archetypes of the collective unconscious. And if you're not familiar with this concept, it's the ba it comes from Carl Jung, the great psychologist. And the gist of it is that we are not born as a blank slate, but that we have software already embedded in our brains. And one of the aspects of software is what they call the archetypes. And just as an example, the archetypes are kind of like personalities that or personas that exist already in our consciousness from birth. For instance, the divine child, the youth, the wanderer, the lover, the warrior, and uh, the virgin, the trickster, and on up into the king, the queen, the sage, and the mystic. If you think about the, the sage just for a second, think about Gandalf or Merlin or Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is a, a kind of, uh, it's an archetype in our consciousness already of the wise man, the holy man, the man that can access, you know, the deeper sources of wisdom. And the fascinating thing about this book to me, one of the great concepts is that we mature from archetype to archetype. For instance, as young boys, this is mainly about male psychology, we may be in the youth archetype, which is succeeded by the warrior archetype. And after that comes sort of the mentor or the father archetype. And one archetype kind of builds on the other so that the aspects of the warrior archetype, courage, recklessness, camaraderie, the willing embracing of adversity, become subsumed and included into the next archetype, the mentor or the father. So that when we kind of hang up our spikes as warriors and become dads and, and husbands, the same attributes are there, already programmed into our consciousness. I know this is getting a little deep and a little intense, but it's a wonderful book, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover.